On today's Tech IQ, we're talking about viscosity. You guys probably understand now why we use lower viscosity oils. In other words, we got the manufacturing tolerances right with some of the bearings, and we could use lower viscosity oils. And this has gotten kind of extreme lately. Zero W8 from Toyota, BMW, they're rolling out a Zero W12. With these, they have special finishes on the bearing that help to use these low viscosity oils. So we all understand why it's doing that. Less draw from the oil pump on the crankshaft means better fuel economy. But what does low viscosity have to do with brakes and transmission? A lot, mainly hydraulics. If you have a lower viscosity fluid, it can react faster. If it can react faster, it can shift gear sooner, shift them more smoothly, and have less harshness in between the shifts. For brakes, it means that that lower viscosity brake fluid is able to transmit the actions of the HCU, in other words, pumps, accumulators, and everything else, much faster than a higher viscosity brake fluid. So with this, you're able to have ADOS working properly, your transmission shifting all 10 or nine or eight gears to make sure that everything operates smoothly. And also the computer modules on the vehicle, they are configured and calibrated for these low viscosity fluids. So just keep that in mind. If you have a bottle of, let's say, regular Mercon, and you have Mercon LV, do not use the Mercon in certain modern transmissions. So keep that in mind when you're looking for a special fluid for a vehicle, that it matches the LV in the owner's manual or the service information to properly service the vehicle. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.